Hi, I'm Sean Duggan, and welcome to the Lightroom Viewfinder. I recently returned from a really great trip to Iceland with Focus on Nature, and this episode is the beginning of a series of Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials based on some of the images I made there. For this first segment, I'll start off with a brief overview of how I set up my Lightroom catalog for traveling. Then I'll finish up with a demo showing the procedure for integrating the travel catalog with my main Lightroom catalog once I return home. When I travel, I like to make a Lightroom catalog just for that trip. I store this trip-specific Lightroom catalog on a separate external hard drive. I also use this same external hard drive as the place where I download all the image files. Of course, it's also essential to have a copy of all your images, so the contents of this drive are backed up every day to a second external hard drive. And when traveling, I usually keep these two drives in separate carry-on bags. That way, if one bag is lost or stolen, the other hard drive containing the images is still safe in another bag. Having both the catalog and the image files on an external hard drive makes it very easy to merge the travel catalog and all the images with my main Lightroom catalog once I get home. When I do return from the trip, all I have to do to merge the travel catalog with my primary Lightroom catalog is connect the external travel drive that contains the photos and the travel catalog to my desktop computer. Then I launch Lightroom and import the data from the travel catalog into my main Lightroom catalog. Let's take a look at how this works. To import from another catalog in Lightroom, which is essentially just taking one catalog and merging it with another one, you come up to the File menu and choose Import from another catalog. Or, if you like keyboard shortcuts, you can come down to the Import button in the lower left, and if you hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on Windows, that button changes to Import Catalog. I'll click on that, and it opens a dialog that allows me to navigate to where the catalog is. It's on this external drive that I took with me to Iceland. The catalog is in this folder that I had already created on that drive. And this is the file that I want, icelandcatalog.lrcat. Now, just to keep this clear, this catalog file is the database that Lightroom uses to keep track of the images. It's not the actual photographs. The catalog contains the thumbnails, the larger preview images, and all of the metadata associated with each image, including keywords, star ratings, develop module settings, any collections you may have made, etc. The actual photographs that the catalog references are in this separate folder right here. So I'll click the Choose button, and once it examines the data, it will open up a variation of the Import dialog. On the left, I can see a list of all the folders that are going to be imported and how many pictures are in each folder. The next place I want to check out is down here, the File Handling section. If I open up this menu, I've got two choices that determine how the pictures will be imported. One, I can copy the new photos to a new location and then import them to my primary catalog. And that actually makes a lot of sense. It's probably what you'd want to do in most cases, because this allows you to click the Choose button and specify a location where the files will be copied to. This option, copying the photos to a new location that you specify, handles everything in one move. It's going to import the catalog information from the Iceland Travel Catalog into my primary Lightroom catalog, as well as copy the files from the external drive to the hard drive where I keep my image archive. For this demo, however, I'm going to do something a bit different, just to show you how you might deal with this situation if you had to. I'm going to choose the first choice, which is to add new photos to the catalog without moving them. So what this is going to do is add the Iceland catalog information to my main Lightroom catalog, but it will still register that the location for these photos is that small external hard drive that I traveled with in Iceland. Then, once the import into the catalog is complete, I'll show you how to move these files from within Lightroom, which is a very useful thing to know how to do. All right, I'm ready to go here, so I'm just going to click the Import button and let it get started. This is a pretty good sized catalog, so it'll take a little while to import all of the information. So what I'll do is pick this back up when the import is finished. Okay, the import from another catalog process is done now, and all of the previous develop adjustments, keywords, and ratings that I applied when I was in Iceland have now been migrated over along with the thumbnails and previews, and it's all a part of my main Lightroom catalog now. Since I chose to import the catalog information with the files at their current location instead of copying them over to a new location, 
I have a new addition here in my list of hard drives. It's this G drive storage, which was my travel drive when I was in Iceland. And if I open this up, you can see that there is the folder with all of the Iceland photos. So what I want to do now is I want to move the photos so that they are down here in the 2012 folder of my main Image Originals archive. Before I do that, however, I'm going to right click on this folder and I'm going to choose Rename. And I'll use a naming scheme that shows the date that the last picture was taken, 120719, and that references 2012, the seventh month of the year, July, and the 19th day. That just keeps it consistent with the folder names in the rest of my catalog. Consistency with file names is a really important part of a well-organized Lightroom catalog. So the important thing when you want to move files around that are part of a Lightroom catalog is that you do that from within Lightroom. If you do it outside of Lightroom, behind Lightroom's back, it's not going to know where those files have been moved to and it will display question marks on the folders and the image thumbnails. And that just means that the files are no longer stored in the location that is referenced by the catalog. To prevent that, it's always best to move the files from within Lightroom. So to accomplish this, I'm going to take my folder of Iceland images on the travel drive and I'm going to drag and drop it on the 2012 folder down here. When I do that, I get a message telling me that the corresponding files will be moved on the hard drive. There's also a line here saying that this is a move that cannot be undone, and that just means that it can't be undone through the edit undo command. You could always undo it just by moving the files back if you needed to. I'll click the move button and Lightroom will start moving these files from the travel drive onto the hard drive where most of my image archive is stored. There's a progress bar in the upper left corner of the interface and this will take a bit of time since it's well over 8,000 images and also some video files. So that is how you can keep a separate Lightroom catalog for traveling import that catalog into your primary Lightroom catalog when you return home, and also how you move files from within Lightroom so that the program always knows where those files are. I'll be delving deeper into my Iceland catalog to share imaging and video techniques for both Lightroom and Photoshop in future videos. Thanks for watching.